Ignorance and poverty have been identified as some of the reasons for unhealthy menstrual practice amongst Nigerian teenage girls across the country, a development believed to be detrimental to their health and general well-being. The coordinator of non-governmental organization, the Girl Child Initiative, Praise Ashaolu, disclosed this during a sensitization for 150 students of junior secondary school in Eloring, the Aquara State capital. The theme for the sensitization is Healthy Girls, Healthy Society. To have a healthy society, the girl child must embrace healthy menstrual hygiene to guard against infection and disease as a result of ignorance and poverty in the country, leading some to using sand or clothing material instead of sanitary parts. This initiative is born out of the urge to alleviate period poverty and ensure that younger girls have healthy life. A lot of girls are in the hospital and they are down with ailments that are highly preventable. Today we've been able to like enlighten these girls on period poverty and sanitary health. At least we've encouraged them not to use clothes because in some parts of this country, even in this state, they use clothes and some of them even use sand to absorb their blood, which is very unhygienic. So this is a very laudable project, a laudable program for the girls and we really appreciate the organizers of this program. It's an opportunity to enlighten young ladies or girls, students, about how to be hygiene when they are doing their periods. Some of the students who participated in the sensitization speak on the lessons learned. I've learned that we have to maintain menstrual hygiene. Whenever we are menstruating, we should not be uh, overtaken by our um, feelings. We should learn to comport ourselves. Stay away from rough clothes and use a sanitary pad the entire having menstrual period. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.